Tony Hunt Jr. is carving his second totem pole in almost 20 years. He slowly chips away the red cedar as it all begins to take shape. On the bottom is a, a whale. And uh, I'm going to add the dorsal fin so it'll look more like a whale when it's finished. While this one is only eight feet, totem poles can go over a hundred feet. After all, his great grandfather is Mungo Martin, the artist who created the big totem pole you see at Beacon Hill Park. Yeah, a lot of great teachers and uh, and influence and inspiration. But take a look at his surroundings. This isn't typically where he would be carving. It's very spiritual and. Uh, peaceful place to carve. This is the first Metropolitan United Church in Victoria. He came to carve here after lead minister Alan Saunders heard he needed space to work. As we reflected upon it, uh, several of us in the church said, why not right in the sanctuary? It would be an opportunity to, to share a message for our congregation and beyond. The sweet smell of red cedar surrounds you as soon as you step into this room. And First Nations believe red cedar helps to heal. So this has become symbolic for the church. Hopefully uh, a new direction in relations. We know the old direction, the historical one, is one that we deeply regret. And uh, I trust that's not just churches, but uh, Canadians as a whole. And as we see the, the progress that he makes week by week on his carving, we ask ourselves, so what progress are we making uh, as individuals, as a church, as the people of Victoria and the island here? What progress are we making in our relationship with First Nation people? And although Hunt didn't know that this is what this had become, he says he began to see it as well. You know, knowing that they're trying to uh, renew relationships with First Nations and Canadians. Hunt says it'll take him about another two weeks to finish the totem pole. Then it will be on display at the Epiphany Explorations Conference happening here on January 16th to the 20th. And guest speakers like Marnie Wilson, who is part of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, as well as the Executive Director of the Native Friendship Centre, will be there to talk about healing relationships between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginals. The conference is free and open to anyone who wants to attend. In Victoria, I'm Suchetta Singh.